Hello everyone. Can um, so we have Chef Vikas Khanna here at the mall with us today, and uh, we'll be taking up some quick questions. Apart from that, since I've been associated also with a lot of things that he has been doing, so I'll take a few questions on your behalf so that you can know about the journey very well. Uh, so Vikas, welcome to Chennai at the Palladium and Phoenix Market City Mall today. Uh, what brings you to Chennai today? When I left India two and half two years ago, I left from Chennai, and with two years, I couldn't come back because so of the pandemic. But I said I'm going to go back, and this is going to be one of the, this is the first event I'm doing after two and half more than two years. This is the first event. So you know, everyone says that everything that goes comes back. I think he went and he came back to the same place. So he's starting his India tour after the pandemic again. But it, during the pandemic, there was something that occupied him very, very meaningfully. So, Vikas, if you can talk about Feed India overall. So, um, 
end of March, you've started getting the news in that there's going to be a pandemic. China means something is happening, and some cases were getting acknowledged in America. So, an email I received from India, say, and which was like, you know, sometimes you get spam emails. Contribute here. It was about old age homes. That you know, this pandemic, you need food for that, and that's the cause very close to my heart about aging parents, and I'm sure everybody can relate to that here. I see young people, and my age people especially have fear of aging parents. So I was very scared at that time, and I talked to my team that we should do something to get food to India. It seemed to be an impossible mission for the first few weeks, and then it became extremely streamlined. And I think it was one of the biggest, biggest projects of my life. And I'm proud that my mom slapped me on 11th April. And so was my mom phone kiya. I said, Mom, I can't be running this initiative because it's very difficult. I'm too much in different time zone. And I have too much of work at that time. So my mom said, that's OK. You should give up. It's great. I'm like, OK, fantastic. Then I shouldn't be doing it. She's saying, give up. Because you know, all your life you've used everything what belongs to India. Your cooking, your skills, your face, everything is Indian. And today, when India needs you, you want to give up. So I don't have to tell anyone that my son is a patriot. <clears throat> that really shook me apart, and I said, I will do anything in my strength, in my power, resources, and I'm going to not give up, but continue to do it. And till now, we've served almost 70 billion meals during the last two years, and I'm very proud of that. Thank you. Of course, you know, that was one part of what greatness uh, came together when people came together, brands came together. There were a lot of people who made Feed India what Feed India looks today. But uh, coming back to Chennai, what, what are the favorite things that you explore when you step into Chennai? I am obsessed with all utensils. <laughs> and wherever I go, I, and you know, if, if I have to be careful because I've almost like I need to, th if they don't sell it, I get upset. Because I feel that, you know, I can give better home to things. And so it's very good that, you know, many times when I come to Chennai, there's so many people who bring in their old family heritage stuff and they give it to me because they feel that I can put it in the museums, I can put it in a showcase to the best possible way in my restaurants so that the legacy lives on. Because I feel that this part of the country was really evolved of thinking about metal, about senses, about Ayurveda, about cooking styles was so deep here. So I feel that I feel that I'm blessed in some way. And that is one of my biggest things. Addiction is miracle. And I'm glad that I've used it in a positive sense. So uh, also, you know, very important. Chennai and Vikas again. Vikas is close to food. What is the food of Chennai that you love the most? You know, people actually think about uh, our food in Chennai to be very stereotypical. But the truth is that it is massive. That you know, we've just had a lunch in Dakshin, which is one of my favorite restaurants in South. And I do feel that it has still not been explored. From 2008 till 2012, I used to come to Chennai every year in the second week of May to go to Kuvagam to attend the festival at the Transgender Festival, which happens there. For four years, I've documented their food. And I think one of the greatest things which I was addicted to was a millet ki drink pill the, the, right at the entrance. And that is amazing. It's a sweet drink. It's also little, they add little salt on top. It's of course to beat the heat and everything and it's very therapeutic. But it was one of my favorite things to drink here. And today when you enter Dakshin, they made the same Miller drink. Perfect. And because what brings you to this mall all the time, every year? <laughs> it's a very unique combination of India and the West. If you look at the mall and the stores and the brands which are here, you will see that it is such a great combination. When you go to some of the malls in bigger cities in Delhi or Bombay, it just focuses on the Western brands. It's very westernized. But here it's such a mix of the local and the domestic and of course the international, which gives it such a big combination of having the choices for the customers who come to this mall. I've not been paid to say this, but I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Any questions anybody has? We have somebody who is wanting to give you a hamper, if we can have her on stage. Look here, look here, look here. Malipana. Malipana. Thank you.
So, um, uh, it's, I'm from Candy Factory and uh, this is a hamper of uh, clean label candy from uh, Candy me. Factory which has marshmallows, which is India's only vegan marshmallow and in fact, uh, outside India they call this the Indian vegan marshmallow because of the Rasmalai flavor which is very unique uh, for a marshmallow. And we have other clean label candies as well. Uh, so, <laughs> so, um, if people don't know about this brand and I know about it, they are marshmallows, they, I, I am Madam Thoda, what do you guys do? They are using aquafaba, right, to make the marshmallows? Okay. So, it's one of the big things about what I feel Indians have mastered in the French cooking is that, you know, we love French, it is a special dish. And Indians have started using their own imagination for making marshmallows. So, I think that's why we love French desserts and Indians have started using their own imagination to those of desserts without egg. So, this is just great. Because they are using the creativity here, which I read about it all the time. Now, especially in the last two years, we have millions of chefs with pandemic, and we should thank them now. Sir, I got a question. Sir, uh, yes, sir. Question. Excuse me, one one. We'll take only two questions. So, uh, sir, um, if you could, every time that you come to Chennai, already uh, done if one. you could have other people, not road just road. a demonstration of those two, three dishes, road. if you say you could conduct a class, you know. For housewives, people who really come on their own because of the pandemic, it will be great. And can I give you a compliment, please? Your smile and the way you talk about BG and your roots is amazing. It's not over the period of years, it's just increased and increased and increased. And that says a lot of being an Indian and yet having so much of international pain. It talks about you as a person a lot, and my salute to that. Sounds like a minute. I think as you grow older, Katyana, you you start testing, you test people, start failing tests. So, but I had people who passed the test of love and fa being faithful. They had passed the test, so you value them even more. And kids feel that you know, as they grow bigger. They're going to have more people in their life, which happens to all of us, and it's good. But we also start testing people, and we feel that you value it much more. Thank you. 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 you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So it's like, you know, the character of this, this part, I mean, let's talk about specifically, you know, when we talk about South India, we're talking about Andhra, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu, right? Yes. This is what you're focusing on. Yes. So they have, it has been modified thousands of times in history. You know, every time there was a big influence, India was adapting the change. So it has already been so much modified. But you're talking about modification in terms of healthier versions or? Yeah. Right? Yes. So, you know, we are looking back at what Western media projects us that our food is very unhealthy, while we have much less disease than the Western world. I think instead of modifying, we should try to unmodify it now. Our modifications have led to a cuisine which has become very confusing. And of course, I am also part of the confusion and I agree, but, but at least I acknowledge it. Going back to our roots, what our grandparents used to eat, is much more healthier, it's finer, it's more sophisticated, it was much better. We have become a generation which is stuck between burgers, pizzas and our Indian cuisine being modified. I think, I have a question, they cannot say, why can't we go back to our roots? Our grains use, our vegetarian use, our use of oils. Our grandparents were 95 years old and they were still healthy. And now at 40 and 50, we have so many issues with food now. Don't you feel that? I feel that my next few years will be exploring going back to my roots and trying to bring things to the western world which have which are more on the base of the base of this country the foundation of this thank you in the video ungalku pidichirundha open mic channel ku like pannunga share pannunga comment pannunga subscribe pannunga bell button marakama amikirunga